It is the 15th of the 11th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Uh, let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Got a lot going on today. Magnitude 6.0 earthquake hits Mexico on southwest Mexico at a depth of 60.9 kilometers, according to the USGS. Pilot whales to be shot after mass stranding. Now this is in uh, New Zealand on the north end of the southern island. A pod of 28 pilot whales stranded in Farewell Spit in Golden Bay are to be shot by the DOC staff. The Department of Conservation has told One News that, that it was first alerted about the beaching at 9 a.m. When volunteers arrived to rescue a second whale, they discovered 28 stranded on the beach. Now they're saying there's not a, really they can a lot of they can do for these whales and uh, there's so many of them they're just going to shoot them instead of letting them sit there and die over a couple of days kind of thing. Two rare tornadoes strike Japan. They have videos on this. Two massive tornadoes swept through the western region of Japan on Wednesday. No injuries or damages were reported. Tornadoes are relatively rare in Japan and the agency has issued further warnings of strong winds, lightning, and tornadoes. Uh, so there's a whole lot of strange weather going on, huh? Got another uh, 6.1 magnitude earthquake uh, southwest of uh, Valinar, Chile. Very seismically active area. Over to the extinction protocol. Of course, we're all watching what's going on in Gaza right now. The insanity continues. Uh, where was it? Shallow earthquake reported near Seamount Volcano. A shallow magnitude 4.8 earthquake occurred today under or near Boomberg Island, about 35 kilometers northeast of Amsterdam Island. That's a French territory in the southern Indian Ocean. And we've got thousands and thousands of underwater volcanoes that we hear almost nothing about. Uh, another earthquake off of Chile. And that's about all new they have going on today. Uh, RSOE's got a couple of stories I want to cover. Uh, we got a, over the Deepwater Horizon spill in the Gulf of Mexico. An overnight inspection of the BP Deepwater Horizon disaster site 40 miles south of Grand Island this past weekend found a new mile-long sheen, which has prompted the U.S. Coast Guard to again require BP to inspect the wellhead and debris area on the floor of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, with a remotely operated vehicle for the source of the oil. Strange things continue in the Gulf of Mexico. We have a nuclear event. Um, I believe this is in South Carolina. Yep, South Carolina Virgil C. Summer nuclear power plant. Utility engineers are working to seal cracks at a Fairfield County atomic power plant before the fractures widen and make the plant more vulnerable to a nuclear accident. The SCE and G plant doesn't present any current threat to the public. According to the U.S., uh, but the cracks in the reactor head at the nuclear plant are a concern that must be addressed, according to the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Without repairs, the small cracks could widen and allow water that keeps the reactor cool to escape. Now, wasn't there a couple of reactors in like Belgium and Norway a few months back that were shut down due to cracks in um, the reactor heads? And they said there was 10 of these reactors in the United States. Is this one of them? I will attach the links below, of course. Uh, over to e, e News. Got a lot of things going on. Top expert in Indiana blast. It looks like methane. Military ammo dropped from a plane would cause similar damage. Uh, the company, no evidence of leak in gas lines. So we have a methane explosion in a house in Indiana. Government expert, get your homes checked. The sinkhole's changing. The gas is changing. New flyover footage shows the changes. Massive tornado sweeps through Japan, of course. U.S. tried fracking for gas using nuclear bombs. Engineer, quote, I think it's awesome. 
<sighs> Drilling to now be allowed within a half a mile of blast site. TEPCO doesn't deny radioactive, radioactive materials are seeping into the Pacific Ocean. And we've been reporting on that for since it began. Feds keeping sink, sinkhole se uh, information secret, state representative. They're doing detailed monitoring right now, and it's just not telling us about it. The U.S. government hasn't taken over yet because it's about revenue. It's all about the dollar. They don't care about you. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to cover this story here in a minute. Anyway, researchers... Continuing radioactive leaks from Fukushima Daiichi. There must be a source. 300 billion becquerels a month throughout the Pacific. So, those little charts where they showed the nuclear spread across the Pacific Ocean that everybody's seen that's going to come up against the West Coast, that was based on a one-time release. Now amplify that video for every day since the meltdowns and do the math. And I'm going to leave you tonight with this story. Fukushima Daiichi Nuke Plant Reactor 3 will get a 1,500 ton cover made of steel. It will be made of steel frames that will weigh 1,500 tons, but the structure will not be fixed to the reactor building itself, which has been badly damaged. Radiation levels are too high for the human workers. Instead, the structure will be supported on the ground on the west side and against the turbine building on the east side, with points in the middle across the reactor building top floor. Now, they show a picture of a nice, pretty, pretty reactor building with this cap over the top of it, but the reality is a number three. They're just going to put a cap over it. Insane. Enjoy while you can. Thanks, everybody.